Hello guys, and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we are going to be updating the spear tutorial. Um, I think before, it was before the, uh, what do you call it, the, the source entity and target entity thing was added, so I made sure to compile and make sure that all the uh, stuff worked again, and then I made some minor improvements as well. Uh, one of the improvements is uh, in creative mode, it doesn't consume the item anymore. So, and I also fixed up the part where if you were to, where it hits the block or entity or whatever, um, the random chance of it dropping needed to be in a, on uh, server side, basically testing. So it should be more accurate now as it won't be doubling the uh, percentage, so it should be more stable now that you can actually do that kind of stuff. And I added some sound effects, and um, you can see that the hand motion actually works now too, right? So, all right. So let's hop into the thing. I'll cover how that all works, and uh, first things first, the spear. Uh, this one needs to be, uh, when range item used, it needs to be uh, spear range item used uh, so I'll cover that one in just a second and then for the bullet you need um, when bullet hits block when bullet hits player and when bullet hits living entity for the um, spear bullet hits block so you can name it whatever you want it's just being the same procedure all over all all three of them are the same procedure so with that uh, when you uh, spear bullet hits block. What we're doing is, what we're doing here is we're just basically running it from server side, just to because we're using the random random number uh, operator. So this thing right here, if anytime you use this, this actually has to be running on the server side, or depending on how you're running, it might need to be run on the client side. If it's not, then it's going to basically run twice and you might come into some issues with that. So I've basically just added this to that, to this system right here. We're just testing if it's uh, not on provided client side. So if it's not, then we're gonna be running it on server side and that means uh, this will only run on server side. Uh, nothing else has changed from the tutorial. Uh, to build it, you need two if statements. Uh, you go here, grab this, and then you need a not statement under logic. And then under world uh, data, you wanna scroll down until you get your is provided world remote client side, and then you drop that on there. And then again, you want your if statement, and then you want a dark blue operator and then what you're going to do is you're going to click on the little light blue area for where it says equals and then you're going to go equals or greater than and then what you want is a math number and we're going to set this to whatever percent that you want any higher numbers will make it more rare so 0 0.5 is um, basically 50%. Now the number is between zero and one. So any percent point form below that is what your percent will be. Next, what you wanna do is you want to go to your math and then grab the random uh, block right here. So now that part's set up. And last thing that you wanna do is you wanna to go to world management and then there is spawn gem and then you want to select your range item that you just basically created. So that's basically how it's all set up. Exact same thing is right up here. And that will do the uh, block dropping part or the item dropping part. So it has a 50% chance of basically dropping when it hits something, a player or a uh, block or an entity. So I'm just going to close out of that and then we're going to open up this one. Now this is where I mostly did the uh, improvements on. Um, first thing that I did was add a, a swing main hand and then for the current entity. So to get that one, what you wanna do is go to entity procedures and scroll down until you reach 
uh, around here where it, you have uh, swing main hand of uh, event target entity and then you want to drag that over here and then we want to play the sound so we would go to world management again and then we would play at and then the coordinates and we would grab this one and then what I've done is uh, entity arrow shoot so it should be near the top somewhere when entity starts so if we scroll a little bit down it should go to entity and it should be right right there so we would grab that one and then what we need to do is we need to grab an if statement so under flow control we're going to grab an if statement and then what we're going to do is make sure that it's not on creative side so we're going to grab this one unment. then what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, player uh, player procedures and then we're going to scroll down until we find the is uh, entity in game mode and then not set so we're going to set this one and then we're going to set it to creative and then the last thing last couple things that we need to do is actually have the original block dropping or basically removing the uh, items from players main hand so what we're going to do is we're going to grab another if statement and then what we're going to do is grab a operator for items and then what we're going to do is go to entity and scroll down until entity in main hand of and then we're going to place that of right here and then we need a red operator for testing the item so we're going to select the spear and then what we need to do is go back to entity uh, procedures and we're going to scroll down until we reach uh, set main item uh, set item in main hand of and then we're going to set this to air now what this will do is basically if you're in survival then it will set the current slot to air now this will only work if the item the, the range item that you have in your hand is non stackable so um, but it will allow you to throw the item that's in that particular slot that you're holding. Uh, there is no remove uh, item in main hand, maybe uh, MC Toolkit or some other um, uh, third party program can basically come out with that procedure in the future. But with that being said, uh, that's all there is to it. And uh, just a brief overview of what's going on. Uh, you're swinging your main hand item, you're playing a sound, and they're testing if the, the player is not in creative. If that's true, if they're in survival, adventure, or any other game mode, then it's going to detect if their main hand item is a spear, and then we're going to set the slot to air, and that's all there is to it. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.